What comes to your mind when I say the word platform? This? This? No, this. EVs are everywhere, but most people still don't understand what makes them tick or rather what makes them stand at all. In this episode, I'm going to talk about dedicated EV platforms. These are platforms especially designed for EVs. And I'm sure you've heard people like me talk about skateboard platforms, for instance, right? So here's the thing. If you have ever seen this soup of acronyms, MEB, EGMP, EVA, BEV3, PPE, well, you might think that someone just sneezed on the keyboard. But those acronyms, they are the building blocks of the EV future. Because unlike retrofitting petrol platforms, these are built electric, ground up, scalable, modular, sellable. The thing is, building a dedicated EV platform isn't cheap or easy. Shareholders hate risk, engineers hate compromise, and customers just want cool cars. So why do it at all? Because converting an ICE platform is like forcing a square battery into a round engine bay. Eventually, you run out of space and patience. BMW, Kia, Toyota, Volvo, Volkswagen, they're all betting big on dedicated platforms. Volkswagen's MEB, well, that's what's behind the ID4, the ID Buzz, even Ford's new European EVs. It's modular, flat floor like a skateboard, roomy, and of course, sellable to other brands too. That is how you scale a revolution. And then there's also Kia's eGMP. Big, small, stylish or silent, this platform handles it all. From hatchbacks to SUVs, all the way from Korea to Europe, that's not just variety, that's strategy. Now, the development of a new car usually takes around five years, maybe even more. We're talking R&D, engineering, testing. Something like eGMP cuts that in half because the base is already ready. Like a pizza base, you can put lots of things on. You can really build on it with a healthy side of torque. With no drive shafts or fuel tank in the way, you get a nice flat floor, more cabin space, infinite layout possibilities. Your car is like a studio, a lounge, a spaceship. CLAR, CMA, CMFEV, ETNGA, EVA2, EGMP, MMA, PPE, SPA2, STLA. Are you still with me? Because this is where the EV arms race is happening, in the floorboards. So you now know what most car salesmen don't. What your EV stands on is what makes it faster, safer, more efficient, and just better designed. Now, some of those platforms like eGMP support 800 volt architecture. Now that's code for 100 kilometers in five minutes, 10 to 80% in under 20 minutes. I'm talking, of course, about charging speed. And there are no manual switches. Just plug it in, it knows what to do. And by the way, some of these platforms even recycle waste heat from the motors, the chargers, the batteries to warm your cabin. A strong steel frame, eight-point battery mounting, a low center of gravity. All of this also means crash protection that's just built into the chassis. Now, some new brands like Slate EV are also pushing modularity even further. Flexible, affordable, still good looking. So you can construct different body styles based on what you want. Complete customization. And don't tell me you don't love how some of these EVs look. That's the platform too. Freeing designers to make art that moves. While a designer would still need to worry about aerodynamics, Imagine the freedom of not having to put a big engine in the front. That in itself could mean just better flowing lines or even more cabin space. So these platforms are building absolute powerhouses. Fast, silent, mind-blowing. But do I miss a manual gearbox? Every single time. But here's the truth. The future is electric. And what's making that possible? 
all of this great engineering. On the next episode, we talk design and maybe a little speed, a little dynamic performance. Because if it doesn't turn heads and blow past them, what's the point? <laughs>